What up, what up, Aries Nation? It's your girl Kelly coming at you from the Queen Bee Tarot. You will hear all kinds of noise going on around me, Aries Nation. There is a beautiful fireplace, but unfortunately, I have renovations going on and it looks like a bomb went off in here. So, you know, pardon the noise and the, uh, the occasional photo bombing because it will happen. Wow. A certain twin flame likes to photobomb me when I'm trying to start this video, hence why this is the third video. Anyway, he can remove himself now, as cute as he is. Um, I feel like some of you this month are really like stuck in that energy from last month of being used as um, kind of like a fucking trampoline, I guess, a bounce back method to someone else that this person was seeing I feel like you're in that stuck energy like you're still you still have secrets coming out things that you possibly weren't aware of um, definitely got your guard up the infamous Aries guard I'm getting bombed so don't mind me we're getting firewood here so anyway um, I feel like a lot of you are trying to pull in that Queen of Swords energy and really because the Queen of Swords doesn't fuck around she cuts out what's unnecessary, whatever's unnecessary in your life. And I feel like um, a lot of you are pulling in that energy, but for, and that is making you happy, cutting out negative things, cutting out things that are not necessary, things that are negative, like behavior patterns. Um, a lot of you, and it may just be your whole New Year's bullshit resolution thing. But if you give up on learning more on your spirituality and you give up on your spirituality based on one situation where you got fucked over, mm -mm. you got to keep it going, guys. Got to keep it moving. You know, don't get in this stuck energy because I feel like a lot of you feel like there's just no victory there. You know, and this is not the last person in the world. This is not... I mean, I hate to be cliche, but this is not the only fucking fish, if you know what I mean. So I feel like a lot of you need to come out of that really, really stuck energy of being angry with this person and having no victory over it. Um, you know, a lot of you, I feel, put yourself in work. Um, a lot of you are doing what I did and putting yourself really into work. And uh, that's probably where the questions of where have you been are going to start coming in. Just ignore my phone, I do. Um, where have I been? Okay, yeah. So Christmas Eve, I went down a flight of stairs. So I spent the, hosp spent the night in the hospital and uh, was recuperating from that when the bubonic plague hit my house. And my twin flame was delirious with a temperature of 103. I locked myself in a room with Clorox wipes and a laptop and only came out when the cave beast here, um, you know, needed his medication or I had to put a cold cloth on him and I ran back in the other room, but it didn't work. So I ended up with the bubonic plague thanks to a certain handsome somebody. Um, and, uh, you know, he's going to... He's going to photo bomb again, so don't mind him or my phone. Um, front door service. But I feel like a lot of you threw yourself into work, um, which is a good habit to have because we're workaholics. We're, we're just who we are. Uh, we're workaholics, and that's what we do. But... At the same time, I feel like a lot of you are doing it on an unhealthy way. You're doing it so you don't have to face the pain, and that's not a good thing either. Aries, what we do though, we don't do feelings. I'm awakening my quiet side. Says he's awakening his fire sign. We've got a double Scorpio with a Sag rising in the house. Lucky me. I still think I'd win that fight. Aries, Leo, Aries with a Mars and Leo. I got that all day. He can Scorpio his ass right into the other room. Um, 
anyway, you know, I feel like it's an unhealthy habit that you guys are trying to break, but you don't know where else to put that hurt. And it's kind of confusing um, being used as a rebound for somebody that you actually really cared about. So I see a lot of you are in a stuck energy. Um, speaking of stuck energies, you're in a stuck energy. Really? It's very hard to take when someone's staring at you. Okay, he's looking at the fire. Fire and water. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to light myself on fire and jump in the ocean where I belong. Fucking Scorpio. Um, as you can see, my other half is a lunatic, just like me. You know, one lunatic to another. Um, all right, guys. So, I, you know, it's a bad energy that I feel that you have to kind of give up and break you have to kind of realize that the whole world is not like this person the whole world isn't out to hurt you or get you the whole world isn't out to break your heart trust me um you need to keep doing the spiritual work they're saying like you need to keep moving on there was an important lesson in in what you learned here i've been talking to you guys since the summertime about boundaries and about putting those boundaries up Learning when to say that you love yourself more than you love someone else. That you're not willing to sacrifice your happiness for someone else. And a lot of you just learned that the hard way. It sucks. It's shitty. I know that. But I've been telling you for a very long time that this is the case and this is what you need to be doing. We've been talking about it since the summertime. Um, so I am so glad I'm back. You have no idea. Like I want to do cartwheels. You have no clue how sick I've been. And as you can see, I've got a heart monitor. It's a big old disaster. So, like I said, I'm here. I always disappear, and you guys always know it's hospital. Um, it always has to do with the hospital. I'm a sick girl. What can I do? Uh, this is why I rely on this business and you guys to get me through. You know, I love doing personal readings and helping people and shining my gifts and light on the world. Um, you know, you guys know that I'm a lot more gifted than I put out there. I really keep a lot to myself because, well, you know how the world is. They're not very accepting when you can move things without touching them or you can manipulate water. Anyway, um, a lot of you are just throwing yourself into work and it's not the money, which you're accumulating pretty quick lately um, because we're we're getting in our bounty right now, but we're also still getting kicked in the ass. You know, uh, take it from me, the girl who went down a flight of stairs, ass first. Um, a lot of you want, you know, you're getting a little jaded about relationships and I don't want you to do that. What I do want you to do is put in the work and, you know, get to that twin flame that's meant for you. And if you have a twin flame that's not ready, you know to contact me. There's rituals, there's ceremonies to get rid of that. Don't listen to people who say you're stuck with that person for the rest of your life. Because let me tell you something. I'll be damned if I'm stuck with a twin flame who's not ready and who hasn't learned their lessons and who's, you know, constantly drinking or cheating or whatever this ha these habits are. If you need to get away from this twin flame, there is a way. So, you know... The whole thing with it is intent. You have to be intent on doing it. You have to want to get away from the hurt. You have to want to give it over. And if you can't do that, it's not going to work for you. So be sure that's what you want. But you can contact me. My email is in the box below. Um, Aries, Aries, Aries. We had 26,000 views last month. So what do you say about another twenty-six or 50,000? I kind of like that idea. Um, let's get into this read, kids, because you got Three of Swords a lot. You're coming out of that Three of Swords and coming out of that stuck energy. Okay, so... Keeps coming up. The work card. You're standing back to admire your craft. You've put so much work into what was so much love. You need to realize that only twin flames are forever. And they have to be the right one. And they have to be ready. You know? Um, you're trying to juggle too much right now. You're doing too many things trying to avoid the hurt. Um, 
and it's not working. So I suggest you get right spiritually instead. Just saying. You know, just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, you had a tower moment. We all do, guys. I'm an Aries too. Don't make me stick my foot up your ass to get you moving. So, let's see here. When I pulled for you guys, I've got the nine of fire. So, this is your entrance energy, the nine of fire, the nine of wands. And so, this energy talks about keeping up a wall, keeping people out, keeping out things, even memories of love. You know what? There's a healthy amount of keeping out and then there is an amount of keeping out that you shouldn't be doing and you shouldn't be doing this. Coupled with that is the Queen of Swords in the reverse, letting you know it's time to cut this stuff out. I just told you this a minute ago from instinct. It's time to cut it out. There's a healthy amount of things that you let in. Other people deal with your feelings, things like that. But this whole putting everything toward work and not expressing your emotion is unhealthy and it's going to catch up to you. The next thing I'm seeing here is, of course, the Eight of Earth, which is the Eight of Pentacles back to work again. So you guys are getting a messenger that your work ethic's amazing. Aries worth work ethic is crazy amazing but the problem is is you're putting an unhealthy balance into it to try and avoid how you're feeling and what Scorpio's better not on team Aries anyway Aries this Aries will get taken out not before Aries gets you first Apparently he doesn't know that we have battle strategists and we are the warriors of the Zodiac. Girl, you forget, I got fire and water right here. Anyway, um, with the Eight of Earth talking about work again, the Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. And this is letting you know that there's two things here. One, you're being spied on at work. Just thought I'd let you know. There's somebody, some little snitch shit, some little snitch fuck who's spying. The second thing is the unhealthy balance that you guys have putting toward work right now to not deal with those emotions from that that relationship. And it's something you really do need to deal with, guys. Um, you've got the wheel here. So it's talking about closing out circles, closing out cycles, closing out things that are no longer healthy for you. With the Seven of Swords in reverse. So it's letting you know... Don't mind Mr. Blowtorch here, because it's I'm not... Just trying to get up here. He's trying to get in the shop. Maybe I'll Maybe even get a kiss when he's open. done. What? He's trying to get a nice fly up here. The only thing we have a shot of is his ass. It's okay with me. Anyway... You know, this is you closing that karmic wheel with the Seven of Swords, which is our sneaky card. This is the card of people sneaking behind your back, doing things behind your back, um, relationships and cheating. It talks about closing that wheel. And it also talks about, like I just said to you, that some snitch fuck is spying on you. We don't like snitches in Boston. They disappear. Anyway, with the Seven of Swords, you know, you've really got to worry with this, that you're letting go of it and you're letting go of it properly. If you don't know how to cleanse yourself after a situation like this, let me know. Get in touch with me. You know the routine. Email in the box below. And the like button. See where, how far we can go this, this month, Aries, this year as well. Because you know what? As much as I wanted to do my planetary update, guess what crept into uh, Aries on New Year's Eve? That'll be Mars for the rest of the month. So if you're feeling particularly irritable, like you want to, I don't know, choke everybody, that's probably why. Um, we got an extra kick of energy this month, which is either good or really bad after last month's read and, you know, 
what people were going through, what we were going through. Uh, you know, we're getting the abundance, but we're still getting kicked in the ass by fate and karma for some reason. I think Aries just is the favorite sign for them to kick around. I'm not really sure. You got the nine of water in reverse. So this talks about <coughs> definite third party situations. Uh, this talks about overabundance and things. This talks about drinking. This talks about sex. This talks about ways of dealing with things that are not healthy. So a lot of you went into overabundance mode to get over this person. And uh, do me a favor, in the comments below, let me know how that worked out for you. Um, I always tell you guys, come correct with your karma. But you don't. Some of you, anyway. You've got the Eight of Fire, which tells me that... I mean, things are moving pretty fast. Like, we, we know during the summer with the planetary alignment and everything that we were dealing with with Chiron, you know, retrograde in Aries, Mars retrograde in Aries, and then a million other planets fucking bumping into each other and making life hell, that everything slowed down, right? Well, now I told you after Mercury retrograde, when Venus retrograde hit, shit was going to fly, and it did. Um, excuse me, I said that backwards. Um, and it did. So now everything's just moving really fast. And I feel like a lot of you are, you're getting communication from other people that you're actually in a stuck energy. You know, you're not moving on from whatever it is that you went through and you need to in a healthy way. You need to learn how to move on in a healthy way, in a spiritual way that your karma doesn't come back and bite you in the ass. Um... But also, you know, you've got the hanged man here with the eight of fire. So with the hanged man, this tells me you need a new perspective or you gained a new perspective in the lessons that you learned in life. You know, there's a new perspective there that um, I'm being spoiled off camera. Um, thank you, love. Asking you shall receive. The best guy in the world. Um, this hanged man energy tells me that you guys have gained a new perspective on things. Definitely a new perspective on who you let in. I feel like a lot of you are seeing clearer. Um, you've ascended. You guys have kind of um, moved into this frame of mind on, okay, everything needs to go. It's time to start new. And when you let go is when everything became good again. You're starting to get that abundance. You guys have this card flying out everywhere. The Eight of Pentacles. You guys are fucking stacking that cake, man. This is like the fourth time I've seen it. And what's funny is it was mixed into the wrong deck. Not really sure how that happened, but apparently y'all are stacking some money. So, you know, with that being said, make sure it's at a healthy rate. You know, don't don't put yourself at, at risk for bottling up that stuff because we know how our bottled up shit comes out. Nothing like an Aries temper. When we rage fire, we rage fire. Um, you've got the nine of earth in reverse. So, you, you know, I mean, the nine of pentacles in reverse, clarified by the nine of pentacles in the upright. So... I'm going to clarify this some more, but I mean, you literally got the nine of pentacles in reverse and the nine of pentacles in the upright. So something's going on here where you're still, <laughs> this guy, really, My soul is clean. he can't help himself, <laughs> but I'll clean your soul for you. I'll stick my butt up your ass. Don't turn me with a good time. Okay. I'm going to clarify this for you guys, and I hope you guys are finding this thoroughly amusing because we are like this all the time. This man is the only man, I think, that can keep up with my craziness. Um, the other thing that you guys need to think about is the... Um, you know what? Before I even do that, let me clarify this because I'm not really sure what is going on with this Nine of Earth and this Nine of Pentacles. What's going on here? Whoa, no, no, no. 
No, no, no. We're not doing all that. What is going on with this Nine of Pentacles, please? Just one card. Not 50. What is going on with this Nine of Pentacles? Are you going to tell me? You're going to make me guess. Because I'm pretty good at guessing. Oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I wasn't going to like this very much. All right, Aries. You got the nine of pentacles in reverse and the nine of pentacles in the upright here. And this is telling me that a lot of you are either overindulging in some major stuff. Um, it's causing you to make some pretty rushed decisions. You've got the knight of swords with the chariot. Talk about making rush decisions and bad decisions to try and get over what you are going through. Talk about shitty decisions. I'd hate to be you waking up in the morning. Um, you guys really need to think about how you handle your relationships further and how you handle getting through things, getting over things in a healthy way. This is just like bombarding right through anything. You're just, I mean, this card here is just a card of rushing in and killing somebody when you don't need to. You're delivering that message regardless. And this is another card of messenger. So you guys are just rushing into all sorts of negative behaviors to try and deal with it. It's like one minute you're on the down, the next minute you're on the up. And I was worried about this. You guys need to get in contact with me. This is not the way to handle it. This is the way to end up with a drug or an alcohol problem. Trust me. <laughs> I come from the land of drug problems. Yeah. Manifest. Good man. You hear him? He said they need to do what I did, manifest. And what did you manifest, love? Shorts, t-shirt, house on the beach now, caddy, good job, every fucking thing I wanted. Sexy woman. Manifest everything you want. Three months. All in three months. From... He got stuck with me. He got stuck with me. Imagine being with me for the rest of your life. It's a curse. Told you. Um, with the six of air, there's... I'm, you got two sixes here. Uh, with the six of air, this is not... I mean, this is supposed to be moving on to, you know, better waters. Moving out of all that choppiness. All that chopped up emotion that... Um, you know you guys have been holding on to but you're not you, there's no victory here with the six of pentacles in reverse so i mean you guys are really really in a stuck energy um you feel like nothing's happening for you you're just working and working and working and working but you're not manifesting you're not dealing with things in a healthy way you know working our work ethics amazing i mean when i'm not sick and i don't disappear to the hospital that's all I do is work on this channel and the amount of readings and donations that I get show I care about you guys I'm here for you guys except when I'm dying um, but this six energy is an energy of being just stuck like sixes are always kind of like Wednesday hump day am I going to get through this week type of thing and you got two sixes here. Your six of pentacles talks about giving too much. Giving too much of yourself. And then when it's time to nourish yourself, guys, you're going, well, how do I do that? I don't have anything left. I gave it to everyone else. And here's your other six, your six of air, which is, you know, getting to better waters, getting to a better place in your mind. But you're not. You're giving too much of yourself, and that's your lesson. You need to figure it out. What is the good balance? What is the healthy balance to, you know, um, giving and receiving? You've got the Knight of Water here and the Five of Swords. So some of you may be receiving this offer that looks great from the Knight of Water. It looks good on paper. Whoever this person is looks good on paper, but 
you can never trust the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is my sore winner card, remember? It's my asshole card. It's my dickhead card. It is my, this is someone who's very egotistical, but likes to come up in the upright. It's very important that in public they come in as the man or the woman or, you know, they come up as perfect. But really behind that is somebody who's boastful, conceited, shitty, not a good person. So know that whoever you're dealing with, they've got a crooked aspect to them that you may or may not know about. And like I said, you still have things coming out. There's still secrets, still bullshit coming out. The next thing I'm looking at, the three of earth reversed, which is the equivalent of the three of pentacles reversed. So this person isn't willing in another six, son of a bitch. Three sixes. The three of earth talks about working together, building things together. And when this is in reverse, either someone around you has quit working on things or you're not willing to work on things. You're not willing to put in that effort with this person. You may see how they are now. With the Six of Swords. Again, before was the Six of Air, now is the Six of Swords, giving you that same message in reverse. It's a stuck energy. Aries, move your fucking asses. What's going on here, guys? What is this? It's all stuck. How many of you do I have to do a personal read with to figure out how to get past this shit? Like and email. I can help. You just need to say the word. You got the Eight of Water, which is typically the Eight of Cups, along with the King of Wands. kind of want to clarify this because it's a weird mixture. So, I mean, you guys are still coming up good in your karma is what they're saying. <coughs> but your eight of water, I mean, this is a, a kind of desire for you guys to want to move on, to find something better, to walk away from what's going on. And I want to give you something a bit more than walk away because that's not really what I feel here. It's more like move on, leave this behind, leave this fucked up person or pattern or whatever it is in the dust. But you're coming in in the upright, of course. You're coming in as the king of wands in the upright. So you're all coming in really strong. You look amazing. You've got this great work ethic going. But you're having trouble. Like you need something with spiritual growth. You're stuck energy. You need something with spiritual growth. Moving on to something better than whoever or whatever this person is and what they did. What they did was just plain out wrong. I know that. And again, let me, uh, for Jesus, I didn't do my little, my little speech here, so let me just get this out of the way. It can come in in yours or cross watchers, your partner's energy. Aries, this thing can come in as your energy or your cross watchers' energy. It doesn't matter, you or your partner. But for me, it feels like Aries because. It talks about the heartache and the loss that you guys have had and how you're buried like a fucking ostrich with your head in work. You look like a bunch of ostriches to me right now. Every one of you has your head buried in some form of work or another, which is fantastic, but unhealthy. You've got the Archangel Uriel here, which is my little buddy. And there's an... Aw. I got love. Love when that happens. Um, 
the Archangel Uriel I work with often, and some of you who do ritual work with me know that I work with Uriel. He's signified as the sun here, and the sun is kind of the hap it's the happiest card in the deck. It's where you kind of get everything you want and things are going great. Doesn't look so great, guys. It's in the reverse. With the Two of Wands, which is telling me there's a decision to be made of letting go of this before you can actually finally find some peace and happiness. But you have to let go. I keep saying this. You have to let go. And for some of you who have, there's been plenty of abundance. But for those of you who haven't, you're just in this stuck energy of miserable looking like a fucking ostrich. Get rid of it. It's not your baggage. We got the king of earth as your exiting energy here. Now the king of earth is the king with the Midas touch. Everything that person touches turns to gold. So I see that some of you got smart here and you weren't willing to take down your boundaries. You're dealing with somebody again. Aries is quick to move on because we don't have time to waste on stupid people. Um, we don't waste time on stupid people. And we certainly don't waste time mourning stupid people. We'll be hurt, but we'll work our ass off. We'll go out with our friends. We'll have a good time. And you'll never know it. But inside, our heart's broken. That's just who we are. We never show that heartbreak. No one will ever catch us in an off moment. We're the warriors of the Zodiac. We're the strategists. We're the ones who take you out from the side when you're looking from behind. We never let people see us hurt. It's very rare. But it shows me here that there's someone there that you're the king of earth you're not willing to take a chance on. You're not willing to make yourself part of this again, irregardless of the fact that they look like a sneaky fuck. And they want to vibrate in the upright. And the offer they want to give you, oh, it looks great. But you're not willing to take the chance with the fool. Can't say I really blame you. Another card that wanted to pop out on its own is the Three of Swords. Yes, I'm using different decks. Yes, they're graphic. Oh, well. Um, the Three of Swords, again, popped up. This was popping up every time I shuffled. It's getting through that, getting past that heartbreak, past that third party energy, past that feeling of being used like you were a fucking dish rag. Um, between the eight of pentacles, I hate this thing. Between the eight of pentacles and the three of swords, I'm not sure what popped up more when I was shuffling, to be honest. Um, the Eight of Pentacles putting that strong work ethic is the one that showed most. We have the Ten of Water. So this is the Ten of Cups in reverse. We've got the Ten of Water. So a lot of you guys are either just going through this for some of you. Some of you are trying to navigate your way through this emotionally. Or you're still in it and you don't know that this you think that you escaped whatever Aries went through last month but you didn't or maybe you just ignore it because this came out extra so I pulled some cards on that of course page of pentacles no offer so whoever this king of earth is that's around you that's a person of materialism, a person of money, a person of um, likes to have everything material, kind of nice, luscious. Um, they're all about material. And sometimes um, with certain things, they can be possessive, I guess you could say. They count you as a possession not as a person. So we have the Page of Pentacles. There's no offer there. We know the Page of Pentacles is useless. 
he gets lost. He doesn't know where he's going. He's too busy admiring himself. This is what the Page of Pentacles does. He never offers. With the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this person did cause some sleepless nights on whether or not you could trust them. You're very unhappy. There's the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Water in reverse. And this is clarifying the Ten of Water is no offer. So some of you who are dealing with someone are getting no offer from this person with the Nine of Swords. And it looks like you're telling this person to kick rocks because there's no victory there. Another Six of Wands. You're telling this person it's time for them to go. And you're having trouble cutting things off. You're having trouble making... How do I want to say this, guys? All right. Please, one at a time. We go through this all the time. One at a time. Stop your blah, 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 and one at a time. No, I'm not talking to them. Um, they want you to learn how to deal with this emotionally without burying it. Deal with it in a healthy way before you move on. And those of you who have moved on and you're dealing with this person, this person is not in the upright like you think they are. They're showing here as the Five of Swords, even when I'm talking to them. Even in the other dimensions, when I'm looking right now, they're showing up as the Five of Swords. There's no positive possibilities with them when I look in the other dimensions. Um, this person is not a good person to be around. They're not a good influence. And so possibly, maybe some of you are partying with people. Maybe you turned to your one party friend and thought it was a great idea to hang out with that person because they help you get over things and forget. But how does that help you? They just want someone to party with, guys. So if you're the ones overindulging with that friend, they just want someone to party with. They don't care about you. They don't care that you're hurting inside. So if you really just want to be the partying playboys and playgirls of the Zodiac, go ahead, but good luck with your karma. Um, that's what I have for you guys for this month. And it's, it's weird. You guys are just stuck with your head in the sand, and I don't get it. This is not the Aries way. The work ethic, that's our way, yes. But this is not really the Aries way. This is not the way that we do things, guys. We get shit done. We get shit done, and we work. Um, so I'm wondering what you guys are thinking in terms of where you're going, what's your next steps. But that's all I have for you for right now. So, you know, again, let's get these legs moving. Let's get the legs moving. My email is in the box below for a list of services. I just opened up my private readings again, so I am wide open except just a few. There's only like maybe three, four appointments right now. Um, I have been hiding in a cave, sick and delirious for a very, very long time, just so you guys know. Um, but I'm back. Yay. So I'm so glad to see you guys, and I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas if you celebrate, which um, I do not, and um, a fantastic new year. It is now 2019, bitches. So I hope you had a fantastic, you know, um, couple holidays, and I'll holla at you next time. This is your girl Kelly signing off from the Queen Bee Tarot in Boston. I'll catch y'all later.